Okay, so many clustering algorithms actually use this model or make use of the intuition of this model, um, which is based on PCA. So they use um, PCA for feature reduction, feature evaluation, and, uh, and uh, integrate them into the, the clustering process. Um, and um, basically the clustering process can be very similar to access parallel variance analysis or access parallel subspace clusters. Um, but now instead of variance, access parallel variance analysis, um, algorithms now use PCA. Yeah? Um, the only question again is how do we know uh, the number of uh, the, the, the cluster members on which we have to apply PCA? Yeah? Um, well, um, similar to access parallel uh, versions, we need some assumptions and very often, again, a kind of locality assumption, which we have uh, talked about before, uh, which is obviously somehow um, um, yeah, uh, not the right thing if we are working with high dimensional data, but um, well, uh, we have to um, die one death, uh, as we say in German. Yeah. And we'll have some examples, uh, some example <coughs> um, um, methods coming up. So Orclus is actually the, um, ex the arbitrary oriented version of Proclus. So uh, Orclus integrates PCA now in k-means algorithms or in the k-mean algorithm. And 4C is <coughs> the uh, variant of um, Predecon, which integrates PCA-based distance f learning into dbscan. Yeah? So um, Orclus is um, somehow the, uh, uh, yeah, the extension of Proclus and uh, 4C is um, the extension of uh, Predicon. And there are other extensions to 4C because the density-based um, uh, model uh, seems to be a little bit more um, favorable sometimes, uh, which is Copac, Eric, and there are a lot of more extensions um, if you want to. Uh, search for them, yeah. But we will have a look on Orclus and 4C actually. Yeah. So Orclus, um, the basics here. Um, it's a generalized projected clustering uh, algorithm, and um, a generalized projected cluster is defined, which is actually a correlation cluster, is defined by a set of orthonormal uh, vectors E and a set of points C, uh, and the set of points uh, are densely packed or um, yeah. Um, closely clustered in the subspace, which is defined by uh, the set of vectors E. Yeah? And we typically assume that E um, is typically smaller than the original feature uh, space D, but can be um, full dimensional um, in, in case. Yeah? The input of this uh, algorithm is very similar to Proclus, the number of clusters, of course, for, for the k-means cluster algorithm and the average dimensionality of the subspaces of the cluster. So like in Proclus, we try to somehow um, yeah, um, uh, circumvent the problem that um, uh, Orclus will tend, if we don't set uh, L properly, um, uh, Orclus will tend to, um, to produce clusters that are not in subspaces, but uh, the subspaces will be somehow um, d-dimensional and that is possibly not what we ex uh, expectly, uh, exactly want. Yeah? So um, the output will be a set of clusters like in k-means, but uh, in addition to the clusters, we will have um, the um, eigensystem, uh, so the um, orthonormal vectors that span uh, the relevant subspace for each cluster, and they ha will have um, some, uh, yeah, the, the average dimensionality of those will be L, yeah? which is the input. Yeah, and the main idea is, as I said before, similar to um, to uh, Proclus, to find the subspace of a cluster, we compute the covariance matrix for the cluster and determine the eigenvectors, and then we pick approximately L eigenvectors with the smallest eigenvalues to span the E, yeah, to to deter determine the E of the C. Yeah, that's the basic idea. So very similar to Proclus, uh, it uses now, the, the, the basic basic difference is that it uses uh, PCA um, on the locality of the cluster representatives instead of um, access parallel variance analysis. That's basic, um, the, the most important difference. And it uses not a k-mediate based approach, but it, uh, it uses k-means. Yeah? So it uses centroids rather than midoids. That's, that's the only thing. It starts with um, more than k seeds assigns points to the cluster according to the distance function based on the eigensystem of the current clusters. 
uh, at the starting, at the, in the first iteration, we have no um, eigensystems because we uh, in the in the first round we just start with the with the axis of the data space, so the Euclidean distance, and then the eigensystems are iteratively adapted based on the updated cluster members. Yeah, so we adapt uh, or we assign assign the cluster members, adapt uh, the eigensystem, assign um, assign the cluster members, adapt the eigensystem, assign the cluster members, adapt the eigensystem, and so on and so on. Yeah, so the eigensystem now um, is part of the cluster model. So the cluster model in k-means is the centroid, and now in addition the eigensystem of this centroid of this cluster. Yeah, and we uh, uh, go through those two uh, steps: um, reassignment of the points, um, recomputation uh, of um, the the cluster model, meaning the uh, centroid and the eigensystem in that case. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, and then um, we reduce the number of clusters in it, each iteration by merging the best fitting cluster pairs. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we will have a closer look on um, all those um, uh, stuff uh, here. So how to find the best uh, fitting pairs of clusters? Actually, that is the most important part here. So I, I think well, those parts are, are um, I think quite simple. So the only uh, difference is to k means is that um, when we compute the the, um, the centroid, we also compute we, we also apply PCA and compute um, the eigensystem, and then we use uh, the eigensystem um, to um, yeah. Uh, so we use Mahalo, uh, Mahala Nobis distance uh, with the eigensystem as the similarity matrix in, instead of Euclidean distance to assign the points to the closest uh, midoid, uh, to the closest centroids again. Yeah? And then we recompute the whole thing. So the only uh, thing which is left open here is the, the reduction of the number of clusters by merging the best fitting clusters. So what are the best fitting clusters? Well, we look at um, the least or th those clusters that have the least average distance in the projected space spanned by the weak eigenvectors of the merged clusters. Yeah, so we have two clusters, uh, C I uh, C I and C J, that probably uh, uh, exist in different subspaces. So this is the C J C I and this is C J. Well, what we do is in order to see if they fit, we compute the subspace of their union. Yeah. Uh, taking the L smallest um, um, eigenvalues. So this would be the eigensystem of the merged uh, cluster, of the union of, the, of those two clusters. But again, we just take L um, eigenvalues. And then we check the mean square error of the points from the new centroid in this new subspace. Yeah? And um, yeah, then we assess the average distance in all merged pairs of clusters and finally merge the best fitting pairs with the smallest MSE, the smallest uh, mean square error, obviously. Yeah? So we do that with all pairs of clusters we have um, and see which are the pairs of clusters that have the smallest mean square error um, with this procedure and we merge them. Okay, and we do that only uh, if we have still more than k clusters, of course, in each iteration uh, once. Yeah? We do that in each iteration once, uh, as long as we have more than k clusters. Yeah, so um, yeah, that so that's it actually for our class. So it's very uh, similar to pro class and to k-means. The only difference to k-means actually is that we uh, compute um, the PCA not only the centroid but also the PCA and then use this uh, this eigensystem here uh, the E vectors um, to uh, instead of the Euclidean distance uh, using the, the, the this eigensystem with a Malaha Nobis distance so each uh, centroid somehow lives in its own world so to say in its own um, eigensystem its own uh, arbitrary oriented subspace and uh, we assign points to the centroids or we compute the, 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 the distance of the points to the centroids for the assignment in uh, those subspaces for each centroid um, differently.